Hi, my name is Knox A. Jack. Uh, I'm 11 years old and I go to Wyndham Middle School. I'm a sixth grader. I was in the library and this book was on a stand. I'd like to read you a page. My back over my hips as I ask if we should take off, take our clothes off. And he's saying yes before I finish my sentence. He's pulling off my t-shirt laughing when I can't undo his shirt buttons. He's undoing my belt. I'm reaching into his bedside drawer for a condom. We're kissing again. We're rolling over. Obviously, you can see where this is going. I don't know if it's because we're feeling especially emotional or just tired, or these past couple of weeks have been too much. But this reminds me so much of the first time we had sex. We were both fucking terrified, and the whole thing was kind of terrible because we didn't know what we were doing. But it was good too, so good, because we were a mess of emotions and we were scared and excited and everything felt new. So this sort of thing, this sort of feels like that. Nick touches me like he's scared that any minute. Now this book was at my middle school and it was on a stand. When I rented it out to show my dad it, uh, the librarian asked if I wanted more and if I wanted a graphic novel version. Oh boy. So I'm that kid's oh, father. Good. Okay, good. I was asking for you. Yeah, I'll take another three minutes. So that's my son. Okay. 11 years old and went to his library and found that by the entry door of our library, this is the smut that he is finding. All right. I don't care whether it's gay, straight, bisexual, whatever the terms are for all this stuff doesn't need to be at our school, doesn't need to be at my 11 year old's library. And then as far as gender queer, I've got a son in the high school as well. And this is bullshit. We know it, all right? We do not need to be having literature that's showing boys how to suck dick, all right? This is, I'm very, very frustrated about it, okay? And you may think that schools know the best for our children. You know who know the best for our children? the parents. And if you remember this, I was here last year talking about masks and I even offered you proper usage for a mask. And you said I was bullying. And you know what I would like to say to everybody right now? Where are we a year later and what has changed why you don't wear your masks right now? So what has changed in the medical field that is showing you that you don't have to wear masks now. So like I said, listen to the parents. I can tell you right now, I don't work anymore and I will be more than happy to focus my time and effort to the security of my child and children in this school. All right, I will be a thorn in your sides. So I just want you to be aware of what you've woken, okay? I'm sure that a lot of you guys are fine and great people and have nothing but the best intentions for our children. But by the fact that this has to take four months for a school to get this book out of the, out of the library is ridiculous. The parents are here right now and they're speaking and you need to listen and do something about it quickly. Thank you.